Phil Solomon with Technum. We're standing in front of the Astore, got debuted here at uh, Lakeland at Sun and Fun today for the U.S. The airplane's been around flying for a little bit. What makes this airplane different from some of the other airplanes in the Technum line? Well, obviously, it's a low-wing plane. Um, it's really an evolution stroke revolution of the existing P2002 Sierra, which um, um, has been around since 2002. Um, although, in reality, the plane is actually totally different. The only um, characteristic it really shares in terms of manufacturing with the Sierra is that it's got the same wings. But everything that could have been improved on the Sierra really has been improved on this model. So, for example, when you get in the plane, the seats go a lot further back. You have a reinforced forced area between the two seat rails which you can stand on it makes getting into the plane a lot easier the baggage compartment is now 77 pounds instead of the 44 pounds that it was before it's an awful lot larger very easily accessible in flight and you've also got an external baggage compartment then the canopy instead of just sliding closed it actually slides along and then comes down to close which means you've got a lot more headroom both for getting into the plane and also when you're in the plane so wider much nicer seats it's basically a luxury aircraft in terms of flying characteristics there's one obvious big difference between this and the sierra is that instead of having a stabilator it's now got an elevator flight characteristics are just like the sierra very very predictable very good in crosswinds very stable and i guess most people would say it's just a fun plane to fly as you may know the sierra in the rest of the world 2002 is a fully certified aircraft used primarily for flight training for airlines and so on in massive numbers all over the world and this plane is a sort of follow on from that but in a sort of more luxurious fashion. So if the Sierra is being used a lot for flight training, what then is the market for the Astore? The Astore is really the high-end market that matches the people who would normally go for the P2008 in its turbo version or injection version, but who are who are low-wing um, fans. So you, you're really sharing the same idea of luxury and high-end, but on a low-wing perspective. So pretty much people who are trading down from something a lot more expensive, typically people who've had barren citations, tend, when they move down, to want to have something for fun, and this would match their definition of fun. What's in the panel? On this particular one, we have the new touchscreens from Garmin, the G3X. It also has the two-axis autopilot with the separate control head. It also has the GNC 255A, which is the Navcom from Garmin, Angle of Attack, all of the other things that I think really make a nice panel. Great, Phil. We're going to bring Shannon in here and uh, talk with him, but thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk with thank us. You. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Shannon Yeager is joining us here on Aero TV. And Shannon, you announced here it's this morning at Lakeland at Sun and Fun that there's a big expansion going on down in Sebring, Florida, where we all were earlier this year for uh, for the light sports show. What's going on in Sebring with Technum? Well, obviously with Sebring, you know, they are trying to become that light sport capital. And you know what? This is one of those reasons why they've been pursuing us for some years to, to come bring a U.S. presence. And uh, due to our uh, relationships with our with our previous uh, dealer set, uh, like Hardware Virginia Aviation, they were really, really instrumental in, in bringing us and helping us understand a little bit more about the U.S. market and how we need to be here with a real factory presence. And so with some cajoling from Sebring and stuff, we're actually going to be setting up uh, full facilities. We have full machine shops, paint booth, etc. We're going to be able to do the warranty work there. We're going to have part supplies and stock. In addition, we've got the folks there that are factory authorized to provide factory-based maintenance training. So we can get those other folks that might not yet know how to care and feed their fantastic Technum aircraft around, how to do that and also to care and feed for that rotation. Tax. Talk about the process of moving to Sebring a little bit because I think this is a fairly significant development to have this airplane company coming and establishing a U.S. presence. Yeah, we've had a good relationship with our dealers that have gotten things out, but again, there's that time lag sometimes that happens when things have to come across from Italy where we're produced in its mainframe. So we needed a place to be able to do the reassembly to keep that process controlled as well at the same time to bring that parts and maintenance piece that comes with it. And we want people to know that we are here to stay. We're making a significant investment in people, machines, and things. 43,000 square foot hangar, all the machines that we need to make sure we're able to support our owners, our family out there, because we're also going to be starting just so you know, a nice little owners group is going to be getting off the ground here soon as well. And you're making them very easy to buy as well. That's correct. We're going after a 10% down. So that's all we're asking up front is 10%, and that actually moves the production slot into production. And so we're not asking for the rest of the payment until the aircraft is reassembled, has been given its airworthiness certificate, and is ready for you to fly away from Florida. And 
And so you will be having more than just the Astoria. You'll have a lot of airplanes there to choose from. Absolutely. If you look around where we're standing right now, we have everything from our Echo Light Classic. That is just the most inexpensive way you can get yourself up in the air and go flying all the way up here to our Astoria. But in the middle, we have some other fantastic aircraft like our P-2008. And we're going to soon be bringing in our P-2010 that's going to be flying in Oshkosh. And hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have our Part 23 certification for that as well. All right, well, Shannon, thanks very much, and we'll look forward to coming down to Sebring, either seeing you next January or maybe before we'll come down and go flying. Sounds good. Love to go flying with you. Have a great day. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.